We often say that all objects are weightless in space, but that does not mean that there is no gravity. Let's take a look at this equation. This equation allows us to determine the gravitational pull on the surface of a planet. So let's see, we have big G. Big G is a constant, often referred to as Newton's constant, although actually it was determined 70 years after Isaac Newton's death by Harry Cavendish. Then we have big M. Big M is the mass of the Earth in kilograms. So that would be around six million, 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 million kilograms. And big R is the average radius of the Earth in meters. That is about 6,370,000 meters. Introducing numbers, we determine small g as being equal to 9.81 and that can be expressed in newtons per kilogram. And it basically represents the amount of weight per kilogram of an object in that particular point in the gravitational field. Or we can also express it, and that's equivalent, as meters per square seconds. And that is the acceleration of a free-falling object in the gravitational field. You can make your own calculations for the International Space Station. Just add to the radius of the Earth the altitude of the ISS above the surface of the Earth, which is about 400,000 meters. If we do that, we get a value for small g roughly equal to 8.7. So on the surface of the Earth, we had 9.81, which is about 10% bigger. So the force of gravity, the pull of gravity here up on the International Space Station is indeed a little bit smaller, but not that much. So if there is the force of gravity up here, why am I floating? To explain that, we have to introduce the concept of free fall. So let's use this model of the Earth. And let's enlist the help of a friend, Paxi. You might know her. Paxi, hello Paxi, is with me on the International Space Station. So, for the purpose of our little demonstration, let's assume that Paxi is the space station. We have calculated, a short time ago, that the gravitational pull of the Earth up here at 400 kilometers altitude is only about 10% smaller than it is on Earth. So, if the Earth is attracting us, why don't we, Paxi, me, the entire space station, why don't we just crash onto the Earth? Well, the thing is that we also have a huge velocity vector. We are flying at about eight kilometers per second. And that means that if there wasn't the gravitational pull of the Earth, we would just keep going straight at that velocity. However, because the Earth does attract us, the Earth curves our trajectory so that we keep flying around it. In a way, we can say that our trajectory, the curvature of our trajectory matches the curvature of the Earth. So Paxi, me, the space station, we are all constantly falling towards Earth. But in a way, the surface of the Earth is curving away from us so that we never crash onto it.